Now there is a view in Hong Kong that Hong Kong did well uh, in the period before 1997 because it was smart, because it was clever, because it was free, because it could get on with it, because it was look, with the British and so on. Now, I think that for the great part, this is a, a serious misinterpretation of history. Hong Kong did well between 19, the late 1970s and the handover in 1997 because it got lucky. What do I mean by that? It got lucky because China in 1978 started to open up bit by bit, step by step. It didn't open up fully until after the WTO agreement in 2001. So while it was still opening up in a piecemeal fashion, Hong Kong could take on some of the functions that otherwise China would have done. It would have liked the front office in some senses for, uh, for China. And so Hong Kong was the beneficiary of being able to do these things. One of these things, of course, was that if you were a Western firm, a European firm, an American firm, a Japanese firm, a Korean firm, and you wanted to access the Chinese market, the easiest stopping point, initially, was to do it from Hong Kong. So it wasn't that they were very smart, it was that they got lucky. They got lucky not because of the British, they got lucky because of China and the role that China was performing.